What is up everyone? It is Plasmex welcoming you guys back to another video today. We are going to be doing an updated version of my Zuba tier list. Over a year ago, I made a Zuba tier list video and it got over 500 views. So let's try to get at least 100 views for this video. But we're just going to see how my opinions have changed, if my opinions have stayed the same. And there are a lot of new characters to try. So I added the IDK, uh, the IDK tier here for the characters that I have never been in a game with or never don't have. So there I'm going to put Quinn in this character, I think his name is like Rhea or Raya or something. But yeah, let's start off with Betsy. Betsy is in the okay. I mean, I'm just going to rename this to S A B C D and then I need to add another one. And then right here we're gonna do F for trash. But he's a C tier character. I can admit that. It's not above average, it's just average. Unlike Buck. Buck is l above average. Buck is not A tier great, but I'd say it's above average. It's not mediocre. That's really good. Then there's Donna. Donna is literally the worst character in Zuba. I don't know how in my last tier list I put Donna. At. I, I don't know what I was on, but Donna is definitely an F tier character. F you, Donna. Now it's Molly. Hmm. Molly's above out. No, Molly is average. Molly is the definition of an average Zuba character. It's not super good. It's passive and very mediocre. That's a good chart. If it's passive, this is better. I would probably put it in A tier. But yeah, Bruce. Bruce is C. It used to be. It's really good, but it's not the best bulk. The best bulk character. We will be coming to that character soon. But the best. But it's just a bulk character, and it's not the best one at that. And it's just a pretty average character. Duke. Duke's above average by a little bit. It stuns really good. It's just if it didn't have this bow, BC. I don't really have a lot to say about that. Earl. I made a huge mistake in my last video, putting Earl in my D tier slot. Earl is an A tier character, y'all. Earl's claw is super good. The only reason why Earl isn't S tier is because its passive is a little bit mediocre. And it's still a good passive. But still, Earl deserves S tier, but I can't put it in there. This character, I don't know its name. I haven't really used it, so it's in the IDK slot. And then we have, uh, oh, I forget this character's name, Panther one. It's a D tier character, just not that good. It's not good. Okay. Passive, I literally, like, you never see this character in the wild. And this character is just C tier. It's average, I don't really have much more to say. And then right here we go to Finn. Finn's amazing. The only reason why it's not S tier is, again, it's passive. It never activates. You never are in bushes where you see like low level characters, where you see low HP characters. You do, they're pretty much gonna die anyway, so it's not even worth having. But yeah, it's just pretty it's pretty good nonetheless. Here we have Frank. Frank is the best defensive character. I put in S here, it has an amazing charge, an amazing passive. Literally it has double and 360 swing for a bulk character is much better than, uh, what, I forget the kind of spear, uh, Bruce has, but yeah. Oh, no. Fuzzy is a B-tier character. The reason why Fuzzy is a B-tier character is really it's passive. It's very average, but it has literally one of, if not the best passes in the game. Its passive ability is when every time you shoot someone with your bow, or bomb or spear they will get slowness effect and it's so much fun to play with henry is s tier henry is my favorite character in zuba by a long shot and i'm putting it in s tier for one simple reason it has i think that you know what i said that uh fuzzy had the best passer in the game i lied it's henry henry can literally see characters no matter where they are and it's so useful Henry is so good for players like me who like playing aggressive. It has the uh, shock. It has the best move set in the game. It's literally the best character in the game. If they had double pump, it would be beyond this here. Now I think it's like Pet Piper or something. The snake. 
B, it's above, it's average except for its pass is really good because it makes uh, players take damage over time. Jack, I don't know how you play, so you're going there. Yeah. One more is there to say. Jaden! Spraying and jading. I'm gonna make the spraying and jading part two. If you don't know what spraying and jading is, is jade is so good. Literally just go use your run attack and then go up to people and just spam all your weapons, they'll be dead in seconds. Jade is such a S tier character. A tier character. Just like this character right here, Larry. Larry is one of my favorite characters in Zuba. Larry, when Zuba first came out, was the best character in the game. It has an amazing passive, amazing charge. If it, I wish it didn't have the uh, kind of uh, spirit has, I keep forgetting what it's called. But still a great character nonetheless. That is one of the top movement speeds in the game, which is crazy. Lizzie's B tier. I'm just gonna say that. This is a tier list for solos. If this was for uh, duos, then Lizzie would definitely be S tier. The only reason why it's not a higher tier is because its defense is bad. Besides that, it's amazing. It has an amazing, literally, regeneration being its passive is so good, guys. You can literally regenerate your HP over time. And its charge is so good and so annoying to play with when being in the grass. Okay, so let's just go, uh, pick a random character, any, mini money mo. Okay, uh, Pablo. Pablo's, up. Uh, Pablo C tier. It's average, that's what I'm just gonna say about it. Let's see again. Hmm. Okay, Shelly. Shelly is C tier. It's really good in, uh, higher level matches, but it's still, it's a defensive tank. It's not the best, it's better than Bruce. But it's, uh, charge is a bit underwhelming. I mean, originally it was good, but now we have Milo's, which is just a better version of it. I guess with Primal Instinct, it's a very good character, but I don't have Primal Instinct, so I don't really know how, how to feel about it. But yeah, it's just a C tier character. Louis, I don't, I don't want to do this to you, buddy, but I, I kind of want to put it in D tier. I will. It's a high D tier. D, it's the only reason why it's in D tier is because it's passive and charge is so underwhelming. It has horrible defense. It has the kind of, I don't like burst bow. I like rapid fire bow. I do like burst bow like sometimes, but this kind of burst bow is just not good. Just, mm, there's a lot more problems I have with it. I can literally make an entire video why it's a D tier character. Okay. Milo, hmm, Milo's A tier. It's really good. It's not quite S tier level material. But yeah, it's an A tier character, it has a great charge, great passive, it's just, it's a sniper. It is the best sniper in the game, by a long shot. It's like barely not S tier, so I'm just gonna put it here. Remember, this is in no particular order, like how this is, but I just like putting the ones that I feel like should be there, like right here. Just because I care, I don't even know anymore. Nyx, ooh, this is gonna be a controversial one, because so many people love Nyx. But I, Nyx used to be an S tier character for me, now it's only an A tier character for me. <gasps> oh my god, he put Nyx in A tier, we got a riot! Yeah, the comments are gonna be real You're nice to me on this one. But Nyx just is an S tier, with like, I'm not gonna put Nyx on the same level as Henry and some of the other characters that I'm gonna put here. Just not as good as them. And yeah, Nyx is still a great character, has an amazing passive, Amazing charge has one has like a pretty decent move set. I say it should be like above average, but I wish it didn't have bomb. I wish I had burst spell. But yeah, Ollie, Ollie, you are you are F tier, a mice friend. You have a horrible passive. You are horrible in range battles. It's just ooh, I hate Ollie so much, man. I can't with Ollie. Pepper is D tier. Pepper is under average. When there are snipers like Milo in the game, why would you use Pepper? Pepper, you are horrible. No one like, I mean, there are people who like you, but you're just not the best. Okay. Now, hmm. Now let's just go. Where did I, where's Skippy? Wait, did I just delete Skippy? No. Okay, I deleted Skippy by accident. Oh no, I put Skippy in C tier. No, Skippy, you're playing next. Yeah, but, I mean, Steve is an S tier character. Has a great moves, a great passive, great a lot of stuff, so yeah. Now, the hippo guy, I forget your name. I'm gonna put you above average. You're a great bulk. Oh, uh, you're a great bulk, Steve, uh, character. You're, uh, you're above Bruce. 
And then, so yeah, you're just speed here. Yara! Ooh, Yara! Yara's above average. Yara was the first character to have range, uh, shock, and redeem, which is why it's special. There are more characters that have it, though. It's just, it's a decent character. There's more to say. Skippy! S tier all the way, man. S tier all the way. I can't even, like, say how much S tier it is. Give it vampire teeth and adrenaline shot and just go around, you will literally... Mm, it's just so good. There's nothing more I could really say. But yeah, this is my, uh... Uh, I... What happened? Uh, normal view. Please bring it back. No. So that was my final tier list. I have it on screen right now. And here's my tier list from last year. So you guys can see how much it changed. Please comment down below your opinions on my tier list. And see y'all next time. And peace out.